Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, what is vertex form of a parabola and key features that can be identified from vertex form? So we're just going to focus on some basics today. There's a lot you can determine from vertex form, but let's just focus on these few for today. So here is vertex form y equals a parentheses x minus h squared plus k. Let's talk about what each of those variables means. So x and y are a point on the parabola. If you input x into your function, you will output a matching y value. A is the number in front of the parentheses and that determines the shape of the parabola and the way that it is facing. So if A is positive, the parabola is going to face up like a smiley face. And if A is negative, the parabola will face down like a frowny face. And then HK is the whole reason that this form is called vertex form because HK is the vertex of the parabola. If you notice in this formula, there is a minus sign in front of h. So you need to be really careful with the sign of h. If it says minus 3 in your formula, that means that the h of your vertex was really a positive 3. And if it says plus 3 in the equation, that really means that your h value was a negative 3 in the point. So let's practice identifying some of those key features. My h k value is negative, well, minus two and then plus three. So that means that my vertex was a positive two because I changed the sign and then a positive three. And then remember your axis of symmetry is just X equals the X value of your vertex. So X equals two, because it goes through the vertex. And then this parabola would be facing up since there is no negative sign in front of my parentheses. Okay, this one right here, my vertex is going to be opposite of plus four, so minus four and then minus 10. So my vertex is negative four, negative 10. And then my axis of symmetry would be x equals negative 4 because it's going to go through the x value of my vertex. And then since I have a minus sign in front of my parentheses, my parabola would be facing down. Okay, let's look at this next one. My vertex is opposite of minus 9, so positive 9, negative 2 for the vertex. 9 negative two for the vertex. And then my axis of symmetry would be X equals nine. And my parabola would be facing down since I have a negative number in front of my parentheses there. Okay, next one, my vertex is going to be the opposite of plus three. So negative three, 12. My vertex is negative three, 12 here. So my axis of symmetry would be X equals negative three. And then I have a positive two thirds in front of the parentheses. So that means my parabola is facing up. Okay, on this next one, I am missing the plus K value for my vertex. So we use the number for nothing since there's nothing there for K. You can think of it as a plus zero because that wouldn't change anything. So my vertex is opposite of H. So opposite of minus five would be positive five and then zero since there's nothing there for the K value. So then my axis of symmetry is X equals five since the X value of my vertex was five. And then my parabola would be facing up since that A value in front of my parentheses is positive. Okay, number six. I see a K value. I am subtracting four from the squared part in the equation. So I know the Y value of my vertex is negative four, but I don't have a parentheses with X minus H inside of it. There's no H there. So we're gonna use the number for nothing for no H's, which is zero. And then my Y value is negative four. So my axis of symmetry is X equals zero. And then my parabola would be facing down since I am multiplying the X squared by a negative value. 
Okay, last thing we are going to do is match the graphs on the right to the equation that they represent below. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pay attention to if the parabola is facing up or down. So on number seven, I have a positive value, that invisible positive one in front of the parentheses, so it's going to be facing up. This next one would be facing down because of the negative sign. Number nine would be facing up and then number 10 would be facing down because of the negative sign. Next thing I'm going to do is identify the vertex in each of these equations. So on this first one, the vertex would be opposite of plus one, so negative one, two. So negative one, two. So I'm looking for a parabola that's facing up for number seven, so it has to be C or B, and then my vertex is negative one, two, which matches with C. So number seven, the graph of C matches to it. Okay, let's look at the vertex of the next one. I already know it's facing down and then the vertex would be opposite of plus two or opposite of minus two. So positive two and then positive one. So my vertex is two, one. So I need a parabola that's facing down because of the negative sign, so it's either A or D. And then I need a vertex of 2, 1, which would be D. So number 8, the graph of D is matching it. Okay, number 9, I know the parabola is facing up, and the vertex would be opposite of minus 1, so positive 1. And then the Y value of the vertex would be negative 2. So the only other one that's facing up is B, and then I just wanna verify that that vertex is one, negative two, which it is. Okay, and then the last one at number 10, I know it's facing down, and my vertex would be opposite of positive two, so negative two, comma, the K value would be negative one. So it has to be facing down and have a vertex of negative 2, negative 1, which A does.